I am not a professional in transmissions. There are several things in this video I did incorrectly. This video was designed to reference for reassembly. The transmission is a 6T45 out of a 2010 Chevrolet Equinox. This is part two, the previous episode. We removed the valve body cover, the control unit assembly, and the valve body. In this video, we're going to be removing most of the inner workings of the transmission. We don't remove all of it though. As you can see, we already removed the torque converter and separated the casing. This is the front differential carrier bearing. We did not remove it from the differential carrier assembly. Now we are removing the differential carrier assembly. The sun gear is in the bottom of this. However, it may still be on the shaft when you lift it up. There is a bearing between the sun gear and differential carrier assembly. And here I am touching the sun gear. The driven drive sprocket and chain assembly should lift up as one piece. However, in this video, the driven sprocket came out first. Now we're removing the drive chain. Here I am spinning the driven sprocket bearing. Remove the drive link scoop simply by lifting up. Remove the drive sprocket and park gear by lifting up and sliding off the shaft. Remove the front differential carrier baffle. It's only held on by two bolts. After removing the bolts, it will lift straight up. Remove the output sun gear assembly. Now we're trying to remove the 1, 2, 3, 4 clutch, backing plate, retaining snap ring. We have not removed valve body yet, so the output speed sensor is still in our way. In part 1, I misspoke and called this the input speed sensor. Remove the 1, 2, 3, 4 clutch, backing plate, retaining snap ring using a long flat bladed tool. Be careful when removing the clutch, backing plate, retaining snap ring. It's under a lot of pressure. Now we remove the park paw by pulling the park paw pin and we set it out of the way. We go ahead and put it back in place without the spring on it. Right onto the ground. It's a very specific way this goes in there. Before removing the one, two, three, four clutch backing plate, make note of where the blue punch is and how it goes in. After noting the orientation, simply lift it out. I mean, I think you only got one little single location there. It can only go one way. So I'm going to flip it over. See, this is clutch. Now that we have the 1, 2, 3, 4 clutch backing plate out, we need to remove the 1, 2, 3, 4 friction plates, 1, 2, 3, 4 steel plates, and the 1, 2, 3, 4 wave plate. Looking at them, they don't appear to be broken because they're not snapped. It's not broken. Though. Well, let's take the center one out so we can clean it more. Now we are removing the output carrier assembly. The 6T30 and 6T40 have four pinions. The 6T45 and 6T50 have five pinions.
Now we are removing the input carrier assembly. Again, the 6T30 and 6T40 have four pinions, and the 6T45 and 6T50 have five pinions. Now we are removing the 1, 2, 3, 4 low reverse clutch housing. These are the steel plates, friction plates, and wave plate. There are three steel plates, three friction plates, and one wave plate. These plates are for low reverse. Broken pieces. That's the keeper. Removing the reaction carrier assembly. Something made noises, huh? There's this tension on it for some reason. Banging it. I don't think that's supposed to be in there like that. Now removing the low reverse stepped backing plate. Now removing the low one way clutch mechanical diode. It has to come out perfectly straight. It's stubborn. It has to go all the way out straight, huh? Yeah. Just a little bit off on the dang thing. Damn on me. Trying to see where specifically these little teeth go. It's like that one, the holes. I don't know if there's a specific spot we have to put them in. I'm just trying to see where. Now removing the reaction carrier sun gear assembly and it still has the 2.6 friction plates and 2.6 steel plates because we didn't remove them yet. Like scraping marks. Yeah. Dish scrape marks.
This is one of the two six steel plates and the two six weight plate. It's on that gunfire. Mm -hmm. I think these are the three, four, and three, five in reverse. Sounds heavy. This is where that key is supposed to be at, right on the top right here. So it kind of tore up that bottom part of that. Right at the bottom where that one that wave plate was supposed to be at. That little chin bit. I'm sorry, I have to go close this down. That's good enough 